Ladies and gentlemen, we ask that you stay and remove your hats for Tom Bellamy and the singing of our national anthem, O Canada. Oh. Once again, hockey fans from coast to coast, welcome to game two of the CIHL final between the uh, Williams Lake Stampeders in green against the hometown Terrace River Kings in white. Starting goaltenders for tonight's game, Patrick Leal, he gets the duty here tonight between the pipes for Terrace and down the other end, we got Justin Foote. Bolo, Darren Bolio backing up Lille and Willie Sellers backing up foot off the face off the puck in Terrace territory. Puck played in the middle, picked off there by Richardson of the Williams Lake Stampeders. Works his way on the backhand. Shot right on. Good pad save by Lille on the right pad. Here comes Luke Walker with some speed up through center rights over the Stanley Stampeder blue line. Puck in the corner, and there's Walker spinning off a check. Trying to throw it out in front. And the net must have come off the moorings. We've got a stoppage. And like I said, this was a this is game two of this final series. Game one went to Terrace. They won 6-5 in overtime. Van Reinbolt got that goal. Terrace had a 5-1 lead in that hockey game early on. And the Stampeders turned on the Jets but it wasn't enough. And Reinbold got the game winner. He's out there now, top of the uh, right circle. Buck played around the goal. There's Zach Sternberg. He couldn't get it out. Battle for it along the end boards with Roseboom. Buck sent it out in front. Oh, was a good, couple good whacks at it. Roseboom in front of the net looking for that loose puck. Reinbold as well. Well, keep an eye out for number four. He lost his stick in the corner there. Number four in green, Zach Steinberg. Or Sternberg, rather. This guy, he's played some good hockey in college down in the States. He's got another gear, and we've yet to see it. He's hammered there along the end boards, but Stampeders get the puck to center ice. Shot in by Jazzy Sanga. Glove saved by Patrick Lille. Not taking any chances. Just over a minute gone here in this opening period. Stampeders were hurting badly. They're not getting uh, enough contribution from the back end in Smithers, or in uh, Williams Lake, rather. That'll have to change here tonight. Want to see more out of uh, Spencer Brooks, number 90. He's out there now. And Zach Sternberg, number four, has gone to the bench. Tristan Murray tried to shoot the puck in deep. That hit somebody and is picked up now by Aaron Zurich. The captain, lead pass up ahead. 
And Stampeders are thwarted at center ice. Tristan Murray plays it over to Nick Hominick. Hominick shoots the puck in deep. Foot out to cover up. Got it to the captain, Zurich. Zurich seeing some duty on the uh, back end here. Normally plays up front. Puck now at center ice into the terrace zone. Cleared out into center ice. Willie Murray got a stick on that. Battle for along the boards on in the terrace zone. They try to pry the puck loose and it, Williams Lake come up with the Colton Freeze. Had it on a stick, tried to get it in front. And out comes Terrace. Freddie Mowat plays it in back of the Williams Lake net. Zach Sternberg gets a bump there. Kept in the line by Corbin Legro. He's got the puck outside the blue line. Fires the puck in deep. Puck on the near side. Sternberg was hit hard there on the short side. Back on the net, Freddie Mowat playing it back to the point to Corbin Legro. Legro's shot goes wide of the net. Rebound. Fisher hammers his man along the end boards. Puck scores free, and Colton Lafray has it now. For Williams Lake, out through center ice. Gets to the red line, fires the puck into the corner. Back forward is Rajon Sanga. Throws it up the middle. Almost picked off there by number 18, Jared Colton. Puck tried to play up, play up the middle by Terrace, but it hit Francis. Johnson, they all, you know, couldn't get a hold of the pass. Now shot in by Dylan Richardson. Back forward is Nordstrom. He played it over to Sanga. Sanga behind his own net. Behind his own net. Working his way out to the blue line. Makes a move. Got around Mirth. Gets to the center ice line. Fires a puck into the corner. It's Eric and Zurich. Zurich leaving it there. It's played around the boards by Francis Johnson. Here's Spencer Brooks. Pass up the, the wing. Picked off by Terrace. Back to come. Luke Walker. Drop pass into the high slot. He was looking for the Kelver who snuck in from the uh, right point. And now the puck is sent down the ice. Nordstrom giving a bump there along the end boards. And the Kelver will take it back of his own net. He leaves it there for Luke Gordon. He tries to go up the wing to Ben Reinbolt. Reinbolt takes the puck in over the line. Trying to return feed to Luke Gordon. That was broken up there by the Stamps. Roseboom throws a check on Spencer Brooks. He lost the puck. Puck comes back to the point. Kept in there by Nordstrom. In the middle of Reinbolt. A shot right on. Good save there by Foot. And a rebound is picked up by Luke Gordon. Puts on the brakes. Being watched there by Aaron Zirk. Gordon back for the puck. Gets it out in front. And the Stamps get a hold of it and clear it down the ice. And that'll be brought back on the icing call. Fifteen twelve left to go here in this opening period. No score here from the Sportsplex in Terrace. If you've just joined us, hockey fans, you can hear the uh, drum pounding by the chief from the Stampeders. He's over there on the far side. Big face off now. To the uh, left of foot. Aaron Zurich. Check that Nathan Zurich, rather, number nine for the Stampeders. Lost the draw, tears control. The puck. There's Corey DeKelver. Two in the corner, looking for the return feed. Luke Walker drifts it over to Sanga. Sanga takes a look, throws it back in the net. Steve Cullis. To DeKelver, back to Steve Cullis. DeKelver with a puck in the corner. To Steve Cullis. Cullis tried to work his way to the boards, but he lost the puck. There's the Kelber. He's got the puck on the backhand. Plays it in the corner to Walker. Works his way to the slot. Puck comes back to the point. There's Turner. Shot. Another shot. Two good saves there by foot. And now the puck is cleared out in the center ice. And out comes Nathan Zurich. Nathan Zurich into the corner. Finally gives DeKelver a two-hander. Back of the legs, knocks him down. 
He killed her slow to get up, but he got the puck out of the zone and down the ice. Icing called against Saracen. Off, down inside of Terry's territory to the left of to the right of Leal rather. Now Stan Peters regain possession of the puck and throw it back to the point. Fisher shot deflected in front. Goes wide of the net. Stan Peters have it. Here's Spencer Brooks with a shot. Good save by Leal. Puck into the high slot. Oh, there's a chance there. Saskis tried to go back to the point. Out comes Terrace on the quick break. There's Tristan Murray, he throws it rink wide. Out of the reach of Lego. Murray fighting for the puck on the far boards. Puck comes loose, sent back to the point, there's a shot. Dropped by the net. I don't need the goaltender shot. There's Murray, back in the net, puts on the brakes. Trying to work out of Gracie's office. Gets a little bit of help there from Ori. There's Robert Ori. And that was Col Corbin Legro at the point. I think Robert Ory gives chase now. Now the puck is cleared out into center ice. Perfect carom right onto the goaltender, Lille. He covers up, makes the save with 12.55 left to go here in the opening period. No score if you've just joined us, hockey fans. I'm Mike Sidhu, bringing you all the action. This game is being sponsored by City West. Bringing all the action here tonight. Devin Wall and Travis Wilson on camera. Puck shot wide of the terrace net. Liam Albright gets to the puck first. Plays it around the boards of Sangha on his near side. He goes rink wide, but that's picked up by the... Oh, they score! Cole LaFray. Nice setup there on a bad giveaway by Sangha. He'll be rewinding that tonight when he goes home to watch this game. I'm sure he's got the PVR set to record this game here tonight. They'll be able to watch that. That was a bad play. And the Stampeders get the opening goal. That's what they were hoping for. They didn't want to play catch up hockey. They wanted to get the lead early. And they've got it 12.40 left to go here in this opening period. So just under, just over seven minutes gone. And they got the goal. There's foot playing around the boards. Good job by Terrace pinched in. And we've got a Richardson going to the family box. So Terrace will get a power play opportunity here. Try to get that goal back. Luke Gordon in the take the draw. Dan Darcy Murph protect that uh, Darcy Flaherty rather one by Terrace Terry Turner plays in the corner now Luke Gordon back to Rajon Sanger he's back there on the power play that's good to see the coaching staff for Terrace putting Sanger right back out there on the power play after giving up bad giveaway he's out there now trying to make amends Coach and staff having all kinds of confidence in Sanga. There's Rose Room down the left side, back to Sanga. Left point. Sanga plays it down the corner. Another bad giveaway. Puck is now cleared down the ice. And Terrace will have to go back to get it. And then Sanga puts on the brakes. Has a word with Turner what they're going to do. Sanga's pass is a little bit off here tonight. Got to fix that. That'll, that'll come. Give us a little bit of nerves. Another giveaway there. Sanga, that was a bad night. Here's a break. Francis Johnson. Oh, a shot right on. Good save there by Leo. He hangs on. Makes a save. But I tell you, Sanga's having a rough night here so far in this opening period. 
Corbin LeGrove made his way to the uh, penalty box area, but uh, I'm not sure exactly what's going on. Bell is over there, referee. Bell is uh, trying to tell Derek Derisa and the Terrace River Kings what's going on. Oh, looks like a penalty shot. <laughs> Why did I take so long well, to see like that? Wow. Five, Francis Johnson. There's Johnson, hasn't played in a while. This is a bona fide goal scorer. Oh, and a good save by Lil. Francis Johnson. Thwarted on that penalty shot attempt. Good job by Lil. Then he gets a tap from uh, Corbin McGraw. So Lil keeping this game close. Face off coming up here now in the terrace end of the right of the goaltender Lil. Colton McRae in to take the face off for the snap here. He's got Darcy Flaherty on the right side. Andrew Fisher, the defenseman on the far side. And Zach Sternberg, the defenseman on this near side. A bit of a delay here. Referee over having a few words with the off-ice officials. They were delayed here. Still a power play opportunity for the River Kings. What the heck? We got the number 92 on the board. Put a stamp. Peters in the penalty box. They got him lit up twice. Oh, now, okay. Now they take him one away. That penalty to Richardson. There's a minute five left in the Paris power play. Fisher getting filled in. Andrew Fisher getting filled in by the referee here tonight. A little bit of a confusion. Thirty left to go in this opening period. There's a shot right off the draw, right on the Lil. He had to be alert to cover up that. Terrace missing uh, Colton Braid. He's out of the lineup here. He's in Mexico apparently, enjoying the warmth. Smooth skating defenseman there. I'll miss him on the back end here in this game. Uh, another draw. Hold the frame, trying to get that quick shot on net. Didn't get all of it. Terrace and all try to work it out out of their own zone. Here's Nick Hamonick. Great wide pass to Turner. Back for Hamonick on the left side. Nice pass there from Turner. Havnick circles, gets it to Cullis, over to Turner. Turner takes a look, plays it back to Hominick. Hominick from the point, a shot right on. Good save there by Foot. Dick Kelver looking for the loose puck in front of the net. Him to take the draw. The captain for the River Kings. He's got Walker on the left side. DeKelver on the right side. Turner and Hamnock on the blue line. 11 minutes exactly left to go here in this opening period. 1 0. In favor of the San Peters. River Kings looking to tie it up here on this power play attempt. 24 seconds left in the penalty to Richardson. Fucking point. Hamnick. Dick Cullis. 
Back to Hamnick. Over to Cullis. Cullis walks into it. And a good save by foot. Puck into the corner. Here's Fisher with the puck. Andrew Fisher. Stopped there by Keith Kelver. Fisher takes his man. Cullis to the boards. Puck comes back to the point on his near side. Now it's Turner. Over to Luke Walker. Walker hangs on the puck. And Fisher went down to block the shot. Didn't come. There's Walker. Pass picked off there by Stan Peters. Out they come. Through the center ice, led by Jazzy Sanga on the right side. Throws it towards the net. He had Richardson out of the penalty box going there. Richardson's got the puck back in the net. He's being watched there closely by Nick Hamannuck. Puck comes loose. Back to the point now. Shot right on by Zurich, the captain. There's Aaron Zurich again. Takes a shot over to Spencer Brooks. Brooks holds on. And he lets it go right into the bread basket of Patrick Lill. Lill comes up with another good save. Keeping the game close. Nine forty-five left. Both teams, five skaters aside. Face off now to the left of the goaltender Lill. Face off one by the stamp shot right on. Good save there by Lill. Rebound land there. Luke Gordon out. Frank wide pass for Ben Reinbolt. Now it'll go the length of the ice. Icing called against the Terrace River Kings. 9.34 left to go in this opening period. Stan Peters hanging on to that one goal lead. Caleb Boyle in to take the draw against Luke Gordon. One by Sam Peters. Back to the point that Aaron Zurich threw a shot wide of the net. Knocked down behind the net. Wolf Robinson gets back up. And he's in the back checking mode. Check that Saskis. It's number 19. There's a chance. Good right pad save by foot. On oh, that chance for Terrace. It looked like Roseburg. He threw a check. Try to get that shot away. Here's Reinbold. Drop pass here to Roseboom. Roseboom, quick wrist shot. Rebound on. It's put it down. They jam away at the puck. And they hold it out. Two Saskins. And they're protecting his goaltender. Luke Gordon. Like to go to the penalty box. That's a Luke Gordon and Stu Saskis. Pair of 19. They're going to the box right now. 8.51 left to go here in this opening period. Stan Peters looking to get that. A little bit of breathing room here. If they get it, Paris does not want them to get away. There's Sternberg to Fisher. Rink wide pass, two up the middle. Richardson looking for an interference ball. We'll get it here. Lil threw up the glove of that. Made the save. Houston Murray on the far side. That uh, Corbin LeGrow. <laughs> no, that's the other LeGrow. Awesome. Here's number 10. Quick shot right on. Good save. Off that shot from Richardson. Richardson trying to work the puck back to the point. Picked off there by the river game. OJ comes in center. Rod on Sanger. He stopped there at center ice. Right here, right here. On the far side, too. Oh, he threw a hard cross check and right in the back. And that upset Richardson. He took a hard cross check to the back of the back. Might have been up towards the neck area. We'll be interested to see what comes of this. Austin will go into the penalty box. He might get uh, 
Well, I intend to injure him with that cross check. And he just lost control. Now DeKelber is questioning the call. Looks like uh, Legro is going to get caught. I see Bell. Referee Bell put his hands to his hips. Looks like the guy got a misconduct. He might get tossed. So let's see. Luke Gordon and Austin Lebro in the penalty box for Terrace right now. I think only two Saskas for the San Peters. So there's still a discussion here at center ice. Bell is trying to sort things out at the uh, timekeeper's bench. You know, Terrace have four players on the ice. So does, does Williams like Stampeders. Uh, Stampeders have one extra. They got, looks like they're going to go on a power play here. 752 left to go here in the open area. Stampeders up by one. Chance now for the Stampeders to goal cushion. I'm going to get one here on the power play. As Nordstrom fires the clock in deep. Back for it is Zurich. Nathan Zurich. Goes over to Spencer Brooks. Good for a second here by Luke Walker. Nathan Zurich takes the pass from his brother Eric. Aaron. Luke Walker with a good four check in front. Puck is shot down the ice by Terrace. Goes in back at the Stamps net. Stamps had a little bit of trouble coming out of their own zone. Now they come out to center. Led by Spencer Brooks. Brooks takes a wide. Working around Nordson. Oh, he almost backhanded that one in. Lost the handle on the puck. Here's Nathan Zurich. Check that Aaron Zurich. Aaron Zurich with a puck over to Spencer Brooks. On this near side. Quick shot right on. Good save there by Leo. He hangs on with 6.55 left to go here in the opening period. Stamps have a minute three left on this power play. Francis Johnson didn't take the base off. He didn't win it. Puck back to the and kick it. Caleb Boyle, his shot with White, and Zach Sternberg plays it on the far side. And Will Robbins back to Sternberg. Sternberg on the inside pass to Fisher. He lost control of the puck, and it's cleared out at the center ice. Sternberg, Bryce Rob pass to Francis Johnson. He got a shot right on. And Leo made the save, and out comes Terrace Roseboom. From well out from center ice, shot the puck in deep. Back for his Andrew Fisher. Fisher will lug it out into the center ice area. Got it over to on his near side to Boyle. Boyle takes it wide, trying to set it up. The left wing, right wing hash marks. Got to Fisher. Fisher goes cross side to Sternberg. Sternberg trying to put the needle. Oh, nice pass, good save there. by Leal. He came across on Boyle. Boyle got another shot. Boyle's got it again. Oh, he let it go, another shot. He had about three good chances on that short exchange inside the uh, Terrace line. There's Zach Sternberg. 
spins off the check board. Starts to serve. And turn around. And that's And comes to the shoulder. Throws it in the net. Foot goes down. Comes up. Makes a save. With five corner two left to go here in this opening period. Just joined this hockey fan. Stamps are leading this hockey game. one nothing. Late in the first period. Kelvin wondering why. Not inside. Puck shot in deep on his near side. Roseboom gives Spencer Brooks a bump. Puck played around the boards on his near side. Colton Frey, five step to check from uh, Corbin McGrow. Here, another face off. Looks like an offside. 5 0 5 left to go. In the opening period, Terry's looking to get on track here. Stands win the face off, get the puck down the ice. Back forward is Turner. Austin Turner got the puck out in the center right. There's Spencer Brooks. Pass ahead to Darcy Flirty. Stamps it. Quartered inside their own zone. Logan Gordon. Foot had to come out and poke the puck away from him. Gordon had a chance for a goal there. There's Foot saves again. Big rebound. Comes all the way out. Fulton the fray now. Settles it down. Plays it on the inside. Out comes Stamps out in the center right. Dupree takes that pass to Sanga. Works the puck in deep, right? To Jesse Sanga. Trying to get the puck out in front. Now on board is Nathan Zurich, number nine. Terry's control the puck now. Turn. Austin Turner played up in the blue line, the center ice. And then they come two on one the other way. Oh, it's the star! Off the skate of Nordstrom into the back of the net. I believe it was Curtis Bond, number 17, getting the goal. He was up there on a two on one with Jazzy Sanka. And the Stampeders open up a two goal lead. With 3.49 left to go here in this opening period. Off one by Boyle. Got it back to Fisher. Chris Sternberg back to Fisher. Fisher plays it to an open wing. Wills Robbins wasn't up there. Puck comes back into Stampede territory. Backward is Zach Sternberg. So Vaughn got that goal. Unassisted. Kristen Murray, wrists a hard shot. He's putting the puck in deep, trying to get the Steve Cullis back in the net, but it bounced over the stick. Cullis comes all the way back. He hammers Stu Saskins. Now Cullis gone to the bench. Terror start out from their own end. Behind their own net, Nick Hammoner. He's got the puck. Lays it on the boards on the near side. Didn't put enough steam on it. Here's Hammoner. Hominick, that is, number 20. And away goes Rajon Sanga with some speed down the right side. He's got Ori. He's got it right on. Big save there by Foot. 
Anthony Lowe can cut down the angle on Tanga. Tanga never really had a lane to pass to anybody. Although there were a few guys going with him. They recovered pretty well by Sam Peters. Tanga not happy. He's having a rough first period. Face-off one by the Sam Peters. It's Aaron Burke. They'll leave it there from Spencer Brooks. Brooks down the right side. And he's taking out the end boards by Norton. There's Jazzy Sanga trying to throw it towards the net. Spencer Brooks hard to knock off the puck. Sanga keeps the puck in by swatting down deep. There's Norton. And the puck hit the netting on the side above the glass. No penalty there to delay a game. Only in the NHL. 1.54 left in period number one. Stan Peters have a comfortable 2 0 lead. There's a quick shot right off the draw. Comes around to the other side. And it's picked up by Luke Walker, trying to walk his way in. Fast the steelhead, or check that the uh, Stampeder defense. Here's Steve Pellis, backhand pass for Walker, got over his stick. Back for to Sternberg. Pucks lifted high, it'll have enough, oh, they waved it off. They had enough steam to cross the line. Sanga made a good move. He's got the puck the speed out at the center ice again. He works the puck deep inside of Stampeder territory. Drop pass. And it's left to the Kelvin shot. Didn't get much on it. He's blocked. Didn't get the, the net. Here comes Colton the Frey. He saw the check coming from the Kelvin. And gets the puck into the corner on this near side. Danny Murph up there for a second. Takes his man turner from the boards. Out comes Terrence now, Roseboom. Skates his puck through center ice, gains the blue line. Trying to cut in front of the net. And he worked his way to the front of the net. And the whistle goes with 37.56 seconds left in the opening period. And Peter's looking good behind the blue line. Actually from the behind the red line. Red line in. New goal. Playing a smart hockey game here tonight. Fighting for their lives. Trying to force a game three on Sunday. Tomorrow. Fucking the high slot and Rose from the shot right on. Good save there by foot. Reinbolt looking for the rebound in front. Oh, Terrors winning game one of the series. In Williams Lake, a 6 5 thriller in overtime. Looking to wrap up the series here tonight. The Stampeders have other ideas. Here's Roseburg. James Bullen lost the puck. And the horn sounds to end the first period of play. Here from the Sportsplex in Terrace. Glad you're along watching all this action here tonight. The final of the CIHL. And this, this game is brought to you by City West Cable. Stay tuned for second period action coming up right after this. Uh, 
Well, welcome back, hockey fans. Second period action underway here from the Terrace Sportsplex. We're watching game two of the best of three. Final. The CIHL final. If Terrace wins tonight, it'll be all over and Terrace will be crowned the champs. But they've got a whole dug for themselves now. They're down by two. And they're trying to come back. Stan Peters will play a good road game here so far here in the first period. Williams Lake Stan Peters goal scores are Colton DeFray got the first one. And then the second one was scored by Curtis Bond. Unassisted. It was a two on one with Jazzy Sanga. They converted on oh, another. Oh, he got hammered. Penalty box. Oh, he's having a bad night. Rajon Zanga. He got paced along the side boards. And there will be a penalty. Looks like number 20, Danny. Check that Darcy Flirty. Correction, it's number 21. Danny Murph. Sanga makes his way over to the terrace bench. Feeling the effects of that Murph hit. See if there be any retribution here from the terrorist squad. Mirth is gone. It looks like finished for the night. He's being let off the ice by the official. Off he goes to the dressing room. Looks like Terrace will go on the power play. Chance to get on the board here tonight. Yeah, five on four situation. They got a man advantage. Darcy Flaherty on the left wing. Number 20 in green. Up there with Stu Saskets. Spencer Brooks on the back end. With Aaron Zurek, the captain. Be called upon to kill off this penalty. We'll have to see what comes up on the board. If it's at two minutes or four minutes, or maybe more, maybe five. Oh, they're leaving Spencer Brooks up front. Man back is Zerk and the face off is controlled now by the Stan Peters. Foot comes out of his net. The puck is put out. Right. Kenny Nordson goes rink wide for Corbin McGrow. He fires the puck in deep. Rose Boom after the puck plays it down low. Looking for Luke Gordon. Check that Ryan Bolt in the corner. Took a bump. Luke Gordon in the slot. There's Rose Boom. There's the shot right on. They score! A set goal. A set play. Roseboom off the stick of Luke Gordon. Luke Gordon getting the goal. It was just a redirect of that pass from Roseboom. So the River Kings are on the board. He might as well give an assist to Rajon Sanga. He got nailed, and that was the penalty to Murph. Oh, the Angels looking to play there. 
as they're announcing Terrace's first goal. Roseboom coughs it up in the high slots. That resulted in a Stampeder shot on goal. Good heart. Good heads up play by the Stampeders. After getting scored on. There's Nathan Zurich goes wide around the defense. Trying to take it wide around Turner. That's coughed up and out comes Nick Hominick. For the River Kings. Gets the center ice. Over the Stampeder blue line. Takes a pass. This. Tell us over to Dick Kelberg. A nice shot. Good save there by foot. River Kings starting to come on now in the second period. After that slow start. Here's Corey DeKelver back in the net. He's being watched here closely by the Stampeder defense. There's Zach Sternberg. He steals the puck away. Lost it. Puck can jam away at the side of the net. Puck goes into the corner and DeKelver on it. There's Luke Walker. He had room. But he let that shot go high and wide. Stan Peters get the puck out of the zone. Puck now played out to center ice. Turner for the Terrace. Lost the puck there to Boyle. Here comes Luke Walker in a back checking effort. Got the puck loose. Zach Sternberg now. Gets it out of the zone. Here comes Wolf Robbins over to Saskis. And Robbins redirected that puck on net. Leal had to be alert to make that save. It's good to see Sanga back out there again after getting nailed. Here he's got the puck. He's showing a lot of jump now. Trying to get the puck ahead to Freddie Mowat. And that's broken up for an icing call. Good side, see the Sanga back out there. Still got the speed. Still got to get his passes down. Francis Johnson didn't take face off of Stamps, he won it. But it's controlled now by the Terrace River Kings. Sanga goes ring wide to Tristan Murray. But Luke Gordon trying to play it off the boards and self pass. And that's broken up by Colton Defray. Here's Sanga again, up the middle. And the Stampeders have it. Brooks pass. Hopped over the stick of Colton Frey. That's controlled now by Turner. But Sanga back for Turner. Austin Turner with the puck. They said return feed. Tristan Murray got ahead. Here comes Moat. Uh, that was already 93. Shot back in. Come out of the zone to the group. Pucks out at center ice. Brian Lomas. Lomas with the puck now. Seeing limited duty. He put a weak shot in on foot. Who had to be alert. Had a couple of River Kings converging in the front of the net. 15-16. Left to go here in the second period. River Kings are now on the board, making a one-goal lead. A one-goal hockey game. Two to one. Stan Peters still in front. Here's Zach Sternberg. Lead pass ahead to Jazzy Sanga. Sanga flips a high one in on Lil. He makes the save. Turn to the side. River Kings control the puck inside their own blue line. Albright couldn't do much with that pass from Legro. There's Nordstrom. Pass ahead. A little too hard for Liam Albright. Puck now playing out. Off of glass. Here's Nathan Zurich. Looking for some skating room. Brings it in over the terrace line. Makes it wide around the defenseman. Corbin Legro. Centered it out in the high slot for Jazzy Sangam. Terrace regain possession of the puck. Stamps still have it. Fisher shot was blocked. Another shot from Sternberg did not make it to the net. Here it comes. Roseburg is given a bump there by Zach Sternberg and the puck is sent wide. Comes out to the near side. No problems, couldn't do much with it. Serge Bond trying to get a stick on it. 
Now, Lou Gordon drop back. They score! Rose Bloom ties the hockey game. I believe that was Ryan Bolt who made the pass. And they got a nice shot. A beautiful, a beautifully executed two-on-one. Inside the San Peter's zone. And I can't blame Foot for that one. Pass from Luke Gordon. I, give, I thought it was Ryan Bolt, but all the excitement on the track. There's Rajon Sanger makes a nice pass onto the near side for Hominick. Hominick plays up the middle. That's broken up there by the Stan Peters. And they again turn over the puck in the neutral ice area. And Foot has to be alert there. Went down to cover up Kel DeKelber. Corey DeKelber in front of the net. Look at that loose puck. Yeah, that second period's been all uh, tears. Puck got by Nordstrom. He recovers and gets it out. Shot back in by the Stampeders offside. But they had to came out over the line. They clear the zone. And now Terrence Nordstrom behind his own net, being watched by DeFray, Colton DeFray. Flushes Nordstrom out the near side. Got it to DeKelvin. Corey DeKelvin's high and shot. Wide of the net. He's got a rebound centering out in front. Oh! Good chance for Luke Walker. Back comes Colton to three. Kind of working around. Austin Turner takes him to the end boards. Now Colts. Rolling pass from Walker. Too far in front of him. Shot back up with a stamps in the center ice. And it's turned over there. Now off the bench comes Jasmine Sanger. Sanger. He's got Jared Colton with him. There's a two on one the other way. Speedy Lego. There's a high shot and rebound. Oh, they had a chance to bury that one. Good chance there for Rob Rory. On that loose puck. Good save there by foot. Awesome Lego showing us world class speed. Down the right side after that loose puck. Good chance there in front by Chris Murray. Stamps get the puck out in the center ice. There's Nathan Zurich. Lead pass. Oh, he got the foot. Oh, a good save there. Curtis Bond set up nicely in front of the net. He had a chance. Good save there by Lille. To keep this game deadlocked there too. 11.48 left to go here in this only second period, rather. Forward in the circle. Boyle chasing Sanga, who threw around a puck around the boards on the near side. Rosewood picks it up. Trying to go cross ice. Looking for Luke Gordon. Moving up there. Here comes Ben Reinbolt. Saskis was upended inside the line. Saskis looking for a bit of retribution. On the boards on the near side. Oh, it's waved off by Bell. The puck is clearly laying in behind the goaltender foot. But Bell is in position to make the call. He saw something he didn't like. He's got to be the least favorite person in this arena here tonight. He 
Terrence off one by the stance, but Terrence recovered the puck. Puck is played back to the point, but nobody there. Spencer Brooks gives Rosenblum a shove. The puck is played up over the glass and I'm playing. Eleven oh two left to go here in the second period. Score deadlocked at two. It's two nothing for the Stampeders in that first period. First one with an unassisted goal. Colton Frey open scoring. And Roseboom and Gordon have responded in the second. There's Luke Walker off the skate. That hit the Kelver. Comes back outside the line. Colton Frey trying to get a stick on it. Buck played in the middle. Off the bench comes Nathan Zurich. Corey DeKelver over there having a few words with Colt DeFray trying to go to him in there taking a penalty. But DeFray, he's a veteran. He knows the game. And he used some discipline there. To stay out of the penalty box, especially when the Stamps get the man in advantage. Jesse the Sanger in the teacher drop. He's got Curtis Vaughn on the right side. And Nathan Zurich on the left wing. Sternberg. Fisher on defense. Hominick off for tripping. Here's Sternberg over to Zanga. Back for Sternberg. It's to Zanga. Zanga down low for Zurich. Nathan Zurich back for Zanga. Shot blocked there by Austin McGrow. Got in front of that Zanga shot. Here's Zach Sternberg looking for some room. He's looking for a lane. Good play there by Sanga. Kind of looks at the repair and feed. When it comes to Sternberg, makes a shot. Back to Fisher. Sternberg chips the puck in back of the net. Pick up there is Nathan Zurich. Back for Zach Sternberg. Sternberg to Zurich. He went cross ice looking for Sanga. Sanga and the puck is stirred up by Terrace. Chris and Murray and Austin McGrill go to the bench on the line. Team. Ah, no. Stan Peters got upset about that offside call, but the gate was open. That's where the lines were pointing at. Kayla Boyle lost the draw. Back for is Aaron Zurich. Aaron Zurich cross ice to Spencer Brooks. Being watched by Roseman, a lone four checker up front, killing off this penalty. Out comes Brooks. Takes the loose on the near side of Boyle. Shoots the puck, shoots it very long. Just stayed there by Leo. Roseman gets the puck out. Back for it is Boyle. He goes cross ice for Zurich. Boyle's got the puck, takes it in over the line, puts on the brakes, takes a low high shot. Saskis had that shot deflected off a stick, goes over the net, picked up by the snaps. Aaron Zurich down low, gets a return free from Will for Robbins. There's a shot from a high slot. Ah, oh, they scored a rebound! Lille made the initial save. But the puck was knocked home by the Stampeders to regain the lead. Looks like Boyle gets the goal. Kayla Boyle. Just like that, it's 3-2 for the Stampeders. They regain the lead. 
And he had a two-goal lead earlier, but that was a power play goal. Fisher pinches in from the right point. Keeps the puck on side. Shoots it in now again. Back of the net goes. Back toward his horse from fake the slap side. Kept in there by Stern. Sternberg throws it into the high slot. Now Liam Albright makes a, makes a move there. Moves it for Henry. Shot in the corner by Flaherty. He goes to the bench on the line change. Out comes Sanga with a puck. Got the center ice. He's got it again. Look inside the blue line. Stan Peters recover. Here's Curtis Bond. He's got one goal, had a chance for a second. Playing a good game here on the road. Lost the puck in the corner. Played back to the point. Or he got it back to Sanga. Sang a shot, does not get through. Tristan Murray with the puck. Twisting and turning away from Nathan Zurich. Gets the puck back to the point to Sanga. Sanga fakes the shot, now he throws him into the corner, looking for Austin to grow. That's broken up by the stamps. Spencer Brooks, out muscle, and out hustle by Robert Orris. There's Nathan Zurich. He got move, trying to go top shelf on Lille, but that was broken up. And now it's shot out by the Terrace River Kings. Zach Sternberg, back with the puck, got it to Sanga. He deflects it. Down in behind the Terrace net. Back where it is, Jazzy. Check that, Rajon Sanga for Terrace. And he was hit hard. He don't go to the bench on the line chase. Call six, I look back at the point, nobody there. So he soon sees it back in behind the net. It's picked up there. Terrace trying to control it back in the net. De Kelver down there as well with Cullis. Nick Hamonuk. Hamonuk. He was hit hard, lost the puck. Goes back down into Terrace territory. Picked up by Luke Walker. He got it off the boards. Picked Steve Cullis back for Walker, two on one. He's got De Kelver going in front of the net. He hung on to it. A little bit too long, but it almost worked out. And behind the play, well behind the play, we've got an injured Terrace River King. Looks like he can't see I'm not sure exactly what happened. But he's in some kind of discomfort down there. Off comes the glove and the helmet. He can't afford to lose him. But he's a key. He's the key cog in the wheel of that line with Walker. They find each other. He's a straw that stirs the drink on this terrace. River King Hockey Club. He's still down. Oh, this will be costly if, if the uh, if they can't get him back. To a man, these guys have got to step it up. And while it's timeout, they're looking after Steve Collins down the other end there. The goaltender, Justin Foote, for the Stampeders is doing a bit of yoga down there. He's back to the skates now. Yeah, but I'm still perplexed about the... Uh, Scramble that was in front of the uh, Stampeder net, and the puck wound up behind foot. 
but the referee Bell, he waved it off emphatically. So if he didn't wave that off, that goal counted. It'd be 3-3 right now. But right now, as it stands, 3-2 for the Stampeders. I think they're waiting for a stretcher. Oh, the helmet is supporting the left leg. So this could be serious. They haven't come out with a stretcher yet to take him off. Something must have popped there in that left knee of Cullis. I can't afford to lose him. Like I say, I can't state that enough. But what else can I say? Well, that's a huge blow. What are they doing now? They're going to send the teams to the dressing room. Looks like Stan Peters is going to the dressing room while Steve Cullis lay on the ice. I don't know if they're waiting for an ambulance what? It's in Williams Lake Stampeders with 5.29 left to go here in the second period. They're going to the dressing room. And I think it's just a matter of time before Terrace, the River Kings get sent to the dressing room as well. But we hate to see this in hockey. When a guy's hurt that bad that he can't even skate off on his own steam. Doesn't look good. If, if they lose today, they'll have to rally it to win it today for Steve Cullis. That's what they'll have to do. Because it doesn't look like Cullis is coming back. And I don't know. Unless it's a miracle. He should be, he'll be in the lineup tomorrow. But I doubt it. So if there ever was a reason, an extra reason to win it tonight would be that injury to Cullis. You know, it's games like this that you wish you had a color man sitting there. You can just bounce it off of him, let him go for a while. It looks like uh, the Terrace River Kings are going to the dressing room as well. They're keeping Steve warm. They're bringing over uh, some blankets, I guess, and stuff to keep him warm while he's laying there on the ice. Probably call the ambulance. That's what I figure. Not sure if they're going to have an intermission. Attack this uh, 529 that's remaining here in the period to the onto the third period. I don't know how they're going to do this or they're just going to be a bit of a break. We'll step aside. We'll take a bit of a break ourselves, a bit of a breather here. We'll come back with more hockey action right after this.
Oh well, hockey fans, we're back after about a 20 minute delay. They finally escorted Steve Cullis, the captain, off on a stretcher. And both teams are now back on the ice to finish off this second period. 529 left in the second. Terrence looking to get back on even terms. They'll let them tie it up before the end of the period. You get a shot, good pad save there by foot. Big rebound, Terrence control along the boards. Here's Reinbolt. Got the puck to Rajon Sanga. He looks at a high one pass. Two Stampede defenseman. The forwards, rather. Got the Reinbolt and the Terrence control out of the corner. Reinbolt. Got the Luke Gordon. Luke Gordon turns and shoots. Good save, bad save there by foot. Gordon again trying to throw it in front. That's broken up there by the Stampeders, but they can't get it out of the zone. Good pressure here by Terrace. Puck comes off the end board, turn shot, just wide. Puck goes in the far corner, and now it's Zach Sternberg. Sternberg got the puck ahead to Colton Frey. Frey moved into the middle, and Lil might have got a partial glove on that. Rajon Sank is getting hit hard. He's got the puck back in the net. Threw it out in front and he's broken up there. Out comes Luke Walker now on the attack but he lost the puck as he got to the Stampede blue line. And now big Spencer Brooks takes it behind the net being watched there by Robert Ory. Puck is deflected right onto the goaltender. Lil, he'll cover up. There's a couple of Stampeders standing there looking for that loose puck. Everybody in this building is pulling for Steve Cullis. That's a huge blow for the Terrace River Kings. As he was stretchered off when it was five minutes and 29 seconds left. Took a while for the uh, ambulance crew to get over here and get a stretcher, get him on his stretcher. But if, it, if there was ever a rallying cry for this Terrace River Kings hockey squad, to win this hockey game tonight, it's that. You got a winner for Steve. Puck out to center ice now. Nathan Zurek trying to make a move on the defense of Norseman. Corbin Legro ran. Corbin Legro got a stick in the face. River Kings work the puck into Stampede territory. Back where is Nathan Zurek? Ahead to so check that Aaron Zurek, uh, Nathan Zurek. Stan Peters loses the puck to Terrace. They have it. Kenny Nordstrom takes it down the right side. Makes a move on Aaron Zurt. Drop pass in the hot spot. That's broken up there by Will Robbins. Liam Albright just missed a check on Nathan Zurt. And Fisher, Andrew Fisher, wrist shot right into the glove of Leal. He hangs on, makes the save. 242 left to go in the second period. Stamps hanging on to a one goal lead. Fighting for their lives to stay alive. Here's Hominick. Goes to an open wing. Picked up by Sternberg. And he risks a high one in. Wolf Robbins got to the puck and centered it out in front of Staskis. Now Sternberg, skating miles, on a puck into Lille. Not sure if Robbins got a stick on that to deflect it, but good opportunity in there for the Stampeders. Face off deep inside of Terrace territory now. It'll be the left of so Patrick Lille. Well, in the thing to draw. Terrace will win the face off. That's Luke Gordon that won the draw. Fisher plays it off the board. And it shot it in the Terrace end, but offside called. So the face off will come outside the blue line. 
14 left to go here in the second. After about a 20 minute delay when Captain Steve Cullis got injured and got taken away on a stretcher. Get his knee looked at. I heard his knee from one of the fans up here in the stands. Did the right knee cap. It was actually out of place by a mile. So that's pretty vicious. Might even be a third ender. Let's turn it. We're shot high. From the start. Oh, the foot down, made the first save. And he got some help from his defense. And they get the fuck out in the center race. Here's Flaherty moving in. Oh, and good save by Lil. Came out to challenge the shooter. Colton Frey ties up his man. There he gets tied up, rather. By Turner. Right? Turner goes to the bench on the line chain. Guys, he's hanging out. He's going to take the draw off of the Stampeders. Face off with one. By William Murray. He was tipped up after that face off. Stan Peters get away with a penalty. There's Eric cross side to Spencer Brooks. They shot wide of the net. Good job there by Zerk. Aaron Zerk. Good chance for Stan Peters. Puck comes out. In the center race. Curtis Bond. Bounces one in. Hominick played that gingerly. Nordstrom takes the slap shot like he was going to send it down the ice. But he still has it. Works his way into the middle. Now he puts it up under the wing. Hominick moved up from the point position. Stan Peters with the puck at center ice over the blue line. Here's Nathan Zurich. High slot pass. Sagan moved in. William Morey takes a bump inside the uh, Stampeder line. Lost the puck. Wilf Robbins couldn't do anything with it. Gets it ahead to Jazzy Sanga back to Robbins and fired the puck in deep. Rob John Sanga works the puck out from his own end. He's at center race up there to Kelvin out with the puck. Time winding down in the period. Six seconds left. A shot from DeKelvin. Hit leg, went wide. And the horn sounds to end the second period. Both teams scored one goal each, or two goals. Another, it was Terrace that outshot, or outscored the uh, Williams Big Stampede in that second period. By right, two to one. So the score is now Sam three. Terrace River Kings two. Stay tuned for third period action coming up right after this. Now uh, welcome back, Huck Advance. Third period action set to get underway. Well, we are underway here as Sanga now shoots the puck in deep in the stamp territory. There's Luke Gordon centering pass, looking for a Brian Bolt. And it comes out the far side, down the ice it goes, and back forward is Sanga. Rajon Sanga, lead pass ahead for Rosemoon. Here's Gordon, gets the puck. Looking for a shot from an angle, good save there. And rerun, they score! Reinbolt! Foot made the good save. He made the save, and Reinbolt was there to pop home the rebound. Tie it up at three. You know they were going to come out on fire here in the third period. They were trying to win this one for Steve. Their captain, Steve Coast, who was stretchered off in the last 529 of the second period. So they've tied it up. There's no 
Nordstrom had a shot deflected high over the top of the net. It was up into the netting over the top of the glass and that play. Take third period coming up here, hockey fans. Hope all you hockey fans are enjoying the action. Here on City West Cable Channel 10. All you viewers from out of town, watching from other cities like Houston, Smithers, Kinemat, Rupert. Glad you're all tuned in watching this hockey game. I think this will be a last shot, wins it kind of thing. Nathan Zurich takes the pass from Jesse Sanga. Works around the defenseman Nordstrom. Sanga comes over to pick him. Pucks loose along the end boards. Comes up the side to Spencer Brooks. He lets the shot go and hits something in front and deflected over the glass and out of play. Face off here to the left of the goaltender, Leo. One by Terrace. Nick Hominick with the puck. He played it up ahead. So Leo Albright. Albright with the puck. Drop pass there for Legro. A shot right on. Good glove save by foot. Austin Legro got all of it. Looking for that top corner. Francis Johnson didn't take the draw for the stamps, but it's Legro, Austin Legro won the face off. He got a point shot from Turner right on. Good save by Foot, the puck's in the corner. Terrence was trying to get back and re re recruit for the puck. But out comes Colton Lafray down the right side. He's got a head of steam. Zach Sternberg up there with him. Puck centered out in front by Colton Lafray. He was tied up by Nick Hominick. And Leal hangs on. 17.52 left to go there in the third period. Terrence come away with a puck. It's Luke Gordon. And he's got Ryan Roseboom with him. Puck is cleared out and over the stick of Richardson. He's got one of the goals here tonight. Oh, no, he doesn't. The three snap Peter goals are in order. Colton Afray, Curtis Vaughn, and Caleb Boyle. Luke Gordon, Ryan Roseboom, and Ben Reinbolt for Terrace. 3-3 three, three tie. Terrace looking for the go-ahead goal. There's a shot from Gordon. Does not get through. Corbin McGraw lost the puck. There's a chance now for Richardson. Moves in. Shot right on. Good save there by Leal. Puck comes off a glass. And out to center ice. Luke Gordon picks it up. Wilf Robbins. Aaron Pass. Behind Richardson. Icing call against the Stan Peters. 17-05. Left to go here in this third period. Face off deep inside of Stan Peter territory. Austin Legro will go against Boyle in the face off circle. Face off one by Terrace. Legro with a shot. Check that turn, rather. Hills Wolf Robbins lead pass. A no look pass. Tape to tape to Richardson. He's down the right side. Watched by Nordstrom. Pucks in the corner. They battle for it along the fence. Puck comes loose. Stamps have it. There's Spencer Brooks starting to throw it in deep. Picked up by Jazzy Sanga. Into the high spot. Nathan Zerg shot right on. Good save by Leal. Well out. Challenge. Come out. Uh, cut down the angle. On the goaltender. On that Nathan Zerg shot. 16.35. 16.36 left to go. Here in regulation time. Good hockey game here from a Terra Sports Flex. 3-3 tie. The last shot's going to win this one. 
Jazzy Sanger got it back to Nathan. Check that Aaron Zurich lost the puck. Has to go back into his own zone to get it. Puck shot in deep by Bond. Puck's on the far side. Nick Hamanek gets the puck around on this near side. Luke Walker has it. Puts it off the board for William Lurie. Check that Robert Lurie. Looks like uh, Robert Rory has William Rory's sweater on tonight. Here's Rajon Sanger. Weaving his way inside the uh, stamp line. Lost the puck as he shot it in deep. Puck cleared high. Back into Terrace territory. Icing call against the Stampeders. And what have we got here? Oh, they're sending Colton Lafray back to the bench. 15.38 left to go in here. And regulation time. Four deadlock at three. Terrace one to draw. It's Nordstrom with the puck. At the left point, trying to throw it in front. Puck goes back in the net, picked up by Austin Legro. Back to the point, brother to Corbin. Shot wide of the net. Here's Tristan Murray. Murray's got a puck, takes a look back to the point. Corbin Legro. Come Murray, back to Legro. And the pass is in between two defensemen. So the puck is out to center ice. Shot back in by Terrace. Here's Aaron Zurich. Long outlet pass. Looking for Colton Dufresne. Ice is called against the stamp here. 15 4 left to go. Here in the third period. Luke Gordon in to take the draw for Harris. Harris wins the draw. Tom, Nick Hominick. Right point pass. He goes cross ice to his partner, Turner. Austin Turner got the shot on goal. Inside by foot. Here's Turner again. The shot does not get through. Aaron Zurich trying to go rink wide. Round the boards is broken up there by Luke Gordon. Battle for along the side of the net. Reinbolt back to the point and Turner. On the near side to Hominick. Hominick, wrist shot. High glove. And I think foot got a piece. Luke Gordon throws it in front of the net. Deflected by the goaltender foot over the glass and out of play. Face off here. Stamps. Lose control of the puck. Shot the center ice now. Shot back in. Inside of Stampeder territory. Puck is played off the glass. Picked off there by Robert Ory. He spun and tried to throw it in front to somebody from Darius. To a teammate. And it's picked up by the Stampeders. Wolf Robbins in the corner. Sternberg with the puck. Wrist shot deflected in front. Neil had to be alert there. Terrence River Kings dodge a bullet there. Good pressure here by the Stampeders. Keeping the puck inside of Terrence territory. There's a wraparound attempt. Good save by Leal. Came across the block that. Here's the Kelber with the puck. Leaves it there for Luke Walker. Cuts in front. Pass down low for Walker. The cover, rather. And he had uh, Robert Rory going in front of the net. Puck did not get there. Puck along the end boards. 
Terrence River King. Ryan will upend it in front of the net in a high slot. Francis Johnson gets hit and gets the puck out into center ice. Here come the River Kings, led by Roseboom. Roseboom trying to work around the defenseman. Nathan, or check that Aaron Zurich. Big collision back in the net. Curtis Vaughn having a few words with Reinbolt on the back check. Jazzy Sanga wrists it in. On the far side for Nathan Zurich. Nathan Zurich there. Surrounded by four River Kings. Buck rolls harmlessly in front. And foot hump hangs on with Austin Legro looking for that uh, second gear to break through the uh, stampede of defense. But it just wasn't to be. Ball 10 remaining in this. Third period of this game two of the CHL CIHL final. Terrace leading the series one nothing. Jesse Sanga on the far side played it up the middle and it's done back in by the River Kings. John Sanga couldn't get it out. Kept in there by the Stampeders. It looked like uh, Flirty. Puck came to the side of the net. Neil covers up. We get a face off deep inside of their territory. Looks like the face off will be to the left of the goaltender Neil. And waiting for something big to happen here now. In the next couple of minutes. Puck kept in at the point by Zurich. Aaron Zurich with the puck again. He looked towards the front of the net, didn't have a lane. But he said, deep. deep. For Stu Saskis. Here's Ori. Down that far side. He let the go wide. He gets another chance in that slot. I don't think he got all of that. Now it's Wolf Robbins. Nice pass. Ahead to Boyle. Boyle over the terrace line to Saskis. Oh, and there's Wolf Robbins moving in. Oh, what a save by Leo. He came across and robbed Wilf Robbins. There's Zach Sternberg. Got ahead to Wilf Robbins. But it's picked off by Terrace. Hominick doing a good job on defense. And back for it inside his own zone is Zach Sternberg. Lead pass ahead to Nathan Zurich. He's lined up by Roseboom. Sanga. That's Jazzy Sanga. It's not a wide, isn't it? There's a puck in front of the net. Oh, and a good chance there for Bond. You got it to Nathan Zurich. This Jazzy Sanga back to Sternberg. To Sanga. Jazzy Sanga spins and shoots. Had to go off somebody, and he goes into the corner. Nathan Zurich onto the puck. Puck comes the boards on the near side. Good job by Nathan Zurich. Holding that puck in deep. Reinbolt gets the puck. Now plays it ahead to Luke Gordon. Luke Gordon down the left side. Pass in front. Oh, Roseboom going to the front of the net. Not sure if we got a stick on that. Or it was a save by foot. But back comes Stan Peters. There's Bond, a hard shot. Blocked in front by Sanga. He took one off the ankle. He's feeling that one. There's Reinbold, backhands the puck into deep inside of Stan Peters territory. And goes to the bench on the line change. Aaron Zurich. Pass ahead to Spencer Brooks. 
The big rugged defenseman fires the puck in from center ice. Francis Johnson with a puck, trying to center it out in front. Picked off by the Paris River Kings. That's a hard shot from Spencer Brooks. Right into the glove of Leo. Patrick Leo looking sharp between the pipes. Scrambly on his near side. Harris can't get out, but now they do. Head by Turner, got to hit Luke Walker. Got a man going in front of the net. There was the pass, but it was picked off. Read beautifully by the Stampeder defense. And they managed to get it out, out to center ice. Here's Hominick for Terrace. The River Kings shot the puck in. Foot dives on top of that with William Ory going to check that Robert Ory going to the bench. In front of the net, rather. 7.49 left in regulation time. 3-3 three, three tie. Just like last week down in uh, Williams Lake. This one could go into overtime. Terrace, that's how they got their uh, one goal victory. Ben Reinbolt gets credit for that. There's a shot from Curtis Bond. He's got one goal on assistant here. I believe that was back in the first period when him and uh, Jesse Senka broke in two on one. And Bond got the goal unassisted because it went in and off of skate of uh, Nordstrom, I believe. Oh, the puck deflected high. And Leo had to be alert there to make a save. Luke Gordon, cross ice pass, there's a shot, Reinbold. Looking for the top corner. Puck comes off the glass to Senga. Senga in the corner on the near side. Sternberg played it up the wing and got it out into center ice. He's got it again. He's a smooth skater. Oh, he changed the angle with a nice toe drag. Got a good shot and Leo stayed right with him. Beautiful chance there for the Stampeders. Sternberg into the corner, takes a crazy bounce. Takes a, a Stampeder hop. Nathan Zirk moves in. Oh, and a shot. Good save there by Leo. And Sanga with a puck. Played ahead to Roseboom. He'll just lay it into the corner and go off on the line, James. Tristan Murray fighting for the puck on the near side. Played across ice. Open Turner can hold it, on, hold it on side. Couldn't do it. Here's Zach Sternberg back in the net. Plays the puck up the wing. On the far side, Dylan Richardson. Terra shoot the puck the length of the ice, and that'll be a nice and tall. 6-16 left to go here in regulation time. What a barn burner of a hockey game. Hope you fans in hockey or TV Lander are enjoying all the action. This game is brought to you by City West. Cable Channel 10. Spencer Brooks trying to change the angle. Didn't get much on that shot. Taken out by Spencer Brooks. There's Luke Walker picked off that pass from Zurich. Shoots the puck in deep. And Sternberg looks at high in the center right of Nordstrom. Into the feet of Austin the goal. Couldn't handle it. Now he's got it again. Brings it back in over the stamp line. Good 
Good block shot there by Stu Saskins. Good move by Sanga. Centered it out in front. Nobody there. Walker, good forecheck here by the Terrace River Kings. Sanger got to the buck first, played it on the near side. To Nordstrom to Kelbert, in over the stand line. Check there from Richardson. He was about to hit him hard. Battle for it along the boards. Here's Sanger turns the puck in front. That was blocked there. Nordstrom's got it now at the left point. Given a hit by Richardson after he dumped it in deep. Robert Ory trying to keep the puck onside. Stan Peters get the puck out and down the ice. With time winding down, things are getting very interesting here. Big face up coming up in the terrace or in the Stan Peters zone. And they got their big line out there. Luke Gordon, Reinbold, Ben Reinbold. And Ryan Roseburg throws the tick. Okay, my man, that's, oh, Luke Gordon comes up. Oh, oh, what a save there by Foot. I think he got a piece of that. Looks like Terrence is going to catch in. Didn't happen. Best chance in that period for Terrence. Nakamura. It's all blocked in front. And it's cleared down the ice. Not enough to make it nice and play. Corbin Legro plays it ahead on the near side to Roseburg. And Nathan Turner in behind the defense. Trying to cut it in front. Nobody else falling in front of that, but two defensemen converge and knock him loose in the puck. And now Terrence on the attack. Reinbolt looking to break away. Good job there by Zach Sternberg. They'll come back in over the line. Let the shot go. Good save by Lille. Once again, 325 left to go here in regulation time. Fisher back for the puck for the Stan Peters. Plays it ahead for Curtis Bond. He fired the puck in, deflecting it inside the zone. But out of his net comes Lille to cover up. Good chances at both ends of the rink. Tell you what, it looked like Terrence was going to score on the last offensive 4A, but Foot might have made a beautiful save. For those of you who are lucky enough to set the PVR, you can rewind that and have a look at it. We wanted Howie in the truck, Howie Meeker, but uh, just wasn't in the budget. Puck comes outside the Terrace blue line. Stamps have it. Will, Will Robbins fires the puck into the corner. And I don't know what it is with that, that door down there. The puck has come out at a weird angle. But it gets shot into that corner. With the Zambonians. And it's bounced right back out. It doesn't go around the board. Comes back out into the, uh, the left circle where that face off will be right now. Seen it twice in this period. Wonder if the stamps are paying attention. Maybe they'll get lucky. Bounce. Capitalize on it. There's the Kelver into the corner. Just a loose puck. He got the walker. He tried to center it in front. He was looking for Robert Ory. Puck is third down the ice. Patrick Leal not taking any chances. He covers up with 225. Left to go here in the third period. I tell you, in the last 225, a terrorist goal will blow the lid off this arena. Sternberg's weak shot right on. Patrick Lille covers up, makes a good save. 
so we'll redo the face off once again to the left of the goaltender. There's a quick shot from Jesse Zanger. Lil made the save and away goes Reinbolt. Reinbolt out of the corner being watched by Sternberg. Puck played back to Roseburg. Cross ice pass to Nordstrom. Back in front. And Nordstrom has it again. Looks like that Roseburg, he got a shot away. Save by foot. Here comes Sam Peters, high squat. Shot, did not get through from Nathan Zurek. Puck is played out and through the skates of Aaron Zurich. Spencer Brooks now backhands it into traffic. And a sloppy line change at the uh, Stampeder bench. With a minute 32 left, that'll be a power play opportunity for the Terrace River King. Chance to win it all right here. This is really, this is a bad call, crucial call. I won't say it's a bad goal, but it tough luck for the Williams Lake Stampeders. And now a timeout being called, I believe, by the Terrace. Derby game. Bringing out uh, Hominick and Turner on the fence. Roseville. Oh, check that Walker. Ryan Bolt. Big line. They got Luke Gordon, Ryan Roseboom, and Ben Reinbold up front on this power play opportunity. Big face off win for Flirty. Sends the puck deep into their territory. Spencer Brooks trying to slap that puck around the boards. Had a bit of trouble with it. Didn't get all of it. Kept in by Hamnick. Hominick, rather. Luke Gordon. Back to Turner. Austin Turner back to Luke Gordon. A shot wide of the net as it went off his stick. Didn't get it in front of the net. Here's Rosewood. Pass over to Luke Gordon. Back to the point. Austin Turner back for Luke Gordon. Gordon moves in, drops the puck in deep from Reinbold. They score! 41 seconds left. Luke Gordon picks up his second goal of the game. And he raises the rafters here at the uh, Terra Sportsplex with a big goal with 41 seconds left. And a chance to win. The CIHL, CIHL championship for 2018. Well, you know the uh, Van Peters aren't going to quit. They'll be coming. Hang on to your hat. Harris with the draw, get the puck deep. Ah, they were looking to get foot under the net. Good save by foot. 24 seconds left. Terrace River Kings are that close to winning the CIHL championship for 2018. Let's see what happens. Looks like they're gonna call a timeout. 
30 yeah, they're going to go over some strategy and try to get foot out of the net for the extra attacker. They'll have the extra attacker already set. He's going over the boards to replace foot. Ryan Conlon's coming up for a skate. He hasn't seen an onside sign in this hockey game. As it all shakes down with hockey fans, I think that the uh, both teams, the Williams Lake Stampeders and the Terrace River Kings, are both going to the Koi Cup this year. So really, this doesn't really, really matter, but it does for bragging rights. You better believe it. But it's good, both teams are deserved to go to the Koi Cup. Terrace won the draw, Hominick. Fires the puck deep into the corner, back in the net. Walker being watched there by Spencer. Spencer Brooks. And Peters working her way out. 10 seconds left. Here's Nathan Zurich. Oh, the centering pass. Four seconds left. Now look. Terrors win it. No third game tomorrow as the Terrace River Kings mob their goaltender Patrick Galil in celebration. They won it for Steve Collins, the captain. Who has suffered a, a knee injury in the second period. There's five minutes left in the second period. So here's the ceremonial handshake at center ice. Yes. Stan Peters are outgunned in this one. When it came right down to it, good goaltending at both ends. Patrick Leal looking sharp between the pipes here tonight against the Stan Peters. Justin Foote, he played well as well. The Terrace take the best two out of three, two games, but not by a score of four to three. They got that big goal from Luke Gordon with about 40 seconds left. He got the game winner. That was a heck of a goal. Great effort there by the big line, Luke Gordon biggest goals of the year. I hope you all hockey fans watching it on TV and all enjoyed it as much as the fans did here in the house. And we knew the, they blow the ribbons off the uh, roof of the sports bus here in Terrace. And they were going to score late. And they did it for Steve Tullis. And our hearts are with him. And our prayers go to him and his family as well. Hope for a speedy recovery. And that he can still continue to play hockey. That's one heck of an injury to take at that age. Uh, so we're just waiting for the presentation of the... Uh, Cup, the CIH, CIHL Cup. I'm not sure the name of it. But they're going to uh, they're going to have that presentation here at Center Ice as the officials make their way off the ice leaving the two teams out there alone. And what a class act Stampeders are. They kept it clean the whole time. Could have had chances to get rough and dirty. But they played hockey from start to finish. And hats off to the Terrace River Kings. Showing their dominion over the rest of the league. 
throughout the year. One of the coaches, Derek Darissa, down there as well with Kevin Legro. Great bunch of guys. There's a, well, we got two cups. I don't know. I see three. One big one. It's probably the league championship, and then they got most valuable player probably down there. I hope the PA system's working. Ladies and gentlemen, at this time, I'd like to introduce City Councilor Brian Downey to do the award presentation. Deserve of the award. CAHL. to see him get the recognition that he deserves. We've seen in past years that he's always the second fiddle behind another goaltender. And we'll see him around. Patrick knows who I'm talking about. championship trophy being presented to the three assistant captains. Too bad Steve Cullis, the real captain, isn't here. And off go the uh, Stampeders to catch the buzz. They'll be in the Koi Cup. And they'll meet again. These two teams. They will do battle there. And Williams Lake. There's going to be some good hockey being played there. And that'll conclude our coverage of CIHL hockey action here in the Pacific Northwest. But we're not done hockey yet. At 
City, West Cable 1010. We're doing the uh, Bantam AAA tournament as well. That'll be held in Kinemet this year. Should be some good, exciting hockey on that as well. So check your local listings. Terrace doing their traditional passing of the cup as we wind things down here at City West Cable Channel 10. And they'll line up the center ice for the team photo. So we'll let it go with that music playing in the background. We have the champions by Queen. We'll, we'll head out with that. So long, everybody. Until next time, keep watching the local listings for more exciting hockey here on City West Cable Channel 10. So long, everybody. I'm Mike Sidhu, along with Devin Wall and Travis Wilson. <laughs>